Hello and welcome to Sonic Lab. Uh, I'm Gaz Williams and joining me again is Mr. Tim Exile. Hello again, Gaz. Hello. <laughs> uh, so, the last time we were talking, we were demonstrating your, well, your last software release, SLU. Yep. But today we are looking at... SLAW. SLAW. So SLU was shed loads of oscillators. Yeah. And SLAW is shed loads of resonators. So right. basically, SLU is a synth, yeah. and SLAW is the effects In effect. ah. version. So probably, if you haven't watched the SLU feature, watch that one first, because it'll probably make a bit more sense. Um, but anyway, let's just dive in. So looking at SLAW, it, it looks like SLU. It looks like SLU, it's yeah. It's a different color. It's a different color, yeah. um, but I mean, a lot of the controls are there. Mm -hmm. Um, you can see here, there's a few differences. Now um, the uh, FM pitch mm -hmm. now becomes feedback, um, and the filters become EQ pitch and EQ boost. Mm -hmm. um, and there's basically, so, so what I've done is, I mean, aside a few other bits to kind of make it to work, but I've basically, I've subbed out, I've swapped out the, um, what were the oscillators and the filters for um, this kind of resonator thing that I've actually been working on for quite a few years. Okay. Uh, it's, an, it's an idea I had these kind of, they're, they're self-normalizing delay lines. I mean, it's not worth going like really <laughs> deep into the technology, but basically right. what it means yeah. is they're delay lines that you can um, set at a, at a pitch, they can resonate at a pitch that you can set using a keyboard, okay. but they can, you can chuck anything in the feedback path um, and it won't, they won't sort of get out of control. Oh, okay. They won't pop, they won't click. Oh, nice. And it means that you can, get, you can do really crazy things to the resonators. You can frequency modulate them. You can put crazy EQ boosts and cuts and sweep Ooh. them. Um, and so could you put pitches into drums, for instance? You can turn drums into pitches, and this yes. is what this is what slaw is ah, really good at. Interesting. And that's what I was going. That's what I was going to show. I mean, oh, this neat. is its like core use case, really. And it's using a similar idea of the swarming idea, then. It's yeah, very right. very. Yeah, it's exactly the same thing, really. So it takes. Right. Um, it uses actually slightly. So SLU has um, forty eight uh, oscillators, mm. and slaw actually. I can't remember what I said to that in the end. <laughs> I think it's 40. Right. It's either 32 or 40. Okay. But so it's lots of resonators. So regarding the interface though, have a look at our SLU feature so we don't yeah. need to go over everything because a lot of the same layout is the same. So anyone yeah. familiar with SLU workflow is going to yeah. be able to sort of adapt. Uh, but yeah. let's have a listen. Let's see what let's see what yeah. it can do. So oh, it's an effect. Yeah. Um, so what I, I've just queued up some of the kind of, um, you know, the, the loops actually come with Ableton here. Okay. Uh, so I'll just fire this up. There's a very... Fairly empty yep. drum loop going on, and I'll just turn up the dry wet knob, and you can you can hear it resonating already. Yeah. So, you know, you've got that's got the, your your classic kind of resonator sound. It's got yeah. a chord. You know, it's got this dub techno lushness. So, already you've got something that you can you can take. I mean, if you're like me, basically, I know nothing about harmony and pitch, so, um, and I'm, but I'm really into drums and sounds, and I just want I want. Like when I'm playing with drums, I'm like, I want some, I want something harmonic now, but I don't want to have to say what it is. Uh, okay. <laughs> um, so what I like is stuff like this. It allows me to go like, right, make my drums sound nice and harmonic and chordy. So we're seeing the pattern yeah. moving around there, animating on its. Yeah. So it's yeah, it's picking up the transients of the drums. Yeah. Which are changing the pitches, so you can hear the pitches wandering around there. Yeah. Yeah. So basically, I mean, basically what slaw allows you to do is really build up kind of harmonic and quite textual structures from very basic elements. That's what it's really good at. Mm, nice. Um, and of course you've got the morphing in there that you've got to do as well, yep. so I can then morph it, morph it into something completely different. That's cool. Um, and then I can change how um, the EQ is um, affecting the feedback chain, so I can like boost it. Ah. So yeah. this goes, I mean, it goes really crazy quite yeah. quickly. <laughs> um, or I can change those into band EQs. So it goes, I mean, you know, again, you can get to mayhem quite quickly, <laughs> but then it's really easy to dial it back. Nice. So we could, though, in the scale control there, choose what our kind of underlying notes yeah. are. Yeah, yeah, so you could change the scale. Mm -hmm. to get the, uh... and, and also, if you've got a keyboard, um, 
you can play a scale in. If you can, if you know in your door how to hook up your um, MIDI keyboard to an effect, then you can actually play these notes on a MIDI keyboard. Nice. So yeah, I mean you can you can turn you can turn drums into chords. Yeah, <laughs> that's great. <laughs> and uh, and yeah, you've got I mean there's a whole bunch of um, presets in there. Um, I am still working on the preset at the moment because mm -hmm. we actually shot this before I finished all the presets. But, okay. So I'm still working on them. <laughs> right. Um, but uh, by the time it's out, obviously there'll be a full suite of. Mm -hmm. uh, um, can we can we hear can we hear some? Yeah, so they go, I mean, generally they, they, they start from really quite, um, just sort of, no, let's go. Uh, we'll get these chords going. And, uh, uh, so yeah, we've got some fairly, um, you know, just kind of standard resonator sounding stuff. You know, just nice textural stuff. Um, but you can also do, for example, like reverbs. And one thing, it, it, it does a sort of passable um, simulation of a reverb, but right. you can then morph yeah. into a resonator. Oh, nice. Using the morph bar. Ah. So, do the presets all have different morph? Yeah, yeah, right. they all have morphs in them, so they so all do. So make sure all... you explore their morph control. Make then. sure, yeah, yeah. The, the yeah, just get. I mean, uh, yeah, it's uh, that. That's your first point of like, if you want to just mess around right. and get a feel for what Slaw does and Slew, mm -hmm. um, mess around with the morph bar, right. and then you'd be like, because that's mm -hmm. that's another thing that I really like to do is it's like really fast transitions, right? And and not ones that switch, but ones that morph, so that we right. go like. <laughs> <laughs> Great, yeah. So, it, you know, it does kind of pretty crazy things, extreme things. Mm. Quite rhythmic things. Oh, nice. So, I mean, it really, it can really put a lot in there mm. that isn't there already. Yeah, right. <laughs> I mean, this is one of the more extreme ones. Yeah, it's yeah, quite I a mean, new rhythms in there. Yeah, exa yeah exactly. Yeah. I mean, it gets quite sort of almost generative right. at certain points. Yeah. Cool. So available from uh, shop.timexile.com. Nice. So this is like your latest thing, but what what does the future hold in the world of Tim Exile? Well, so um, well the main well, I mean I am always working on reactive things as well, so there may um, may be a few more of those at some point, <laughs> but. Uh, the main thing I'm really working on at the moment is um, Project Rockpool. I have actually right. I have a sticker on the back of my phone here. Project Rockpool. Project, Project Rockpool. Rockpool. Okay. Yeah, and all the uh, all the team have stickers. It's um, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I've basically, I've been working on working on Project Rockpool with some friends of mine over the last kind of year or two. Um, what exactly is Project Rockpool? Well, I mean, that we're we're figuring that out at the moment. I mean, okay. we it's, so you know we're building software. Um, we we have a code base. So it's, um, a, it's a it's a collective of people. Yeah, it's a collective. It's a collective of people at the moment, okay. and and we're you know we're really kind of uh, exploring what the I guess you know, what the future of music techn technology is, but also what the future of or, or understanding like why people make music now, what really okay. motivates people to make music. So um, although you know we're still in we're, we're researching really. I mean we you know we've got idea, ideas of our own. Um, but we want to hear from other people what um, what their musical lives are like, really. Okay, so it's so it's essentially. Uh, are you looking for more people to get involved with Project Rockpool? Yeah, so we've got a Facebook group, mm -hmm. um, which is just uh, yeah, it's Project Rockpool with three O's. <laughs> Rockpool. Um, Rockpool. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> um, and at the moment, I mean, it's just a community of people um, sort of hanging out, discussing our musical lives, really. Um, really diverse bunch of people really kind of like thoughtful and and quite sort of like heartwarming um, interactions nice. going on it's re it's really great it but kind of feels you like you don't have an end game you just kind of 
Well, yeah, I mean, you know, yeah, I think we, we the, the, the plan is to, to make something and to, and to release something. That's okay. the, that is the plan. That's, that's where, that's that's where it's plan. all going. Yeah, okay. yeah that's, where, that's where it's all going. <laughs> but, um, you know, we uh, just want to take, you know, we want to, we want to meet people. Mm -hmm. We want to understand. Because, I mean, the thing is, so, I mean, what, you know, what I've been doing in my career as a musician and then the sort of, like, t technologist maker of things is, like, uh, I've taken a very artist-led approach where like, um, do you know what? I think this is a really good idea, so I'm gonna make this thing. Mm -hmm. and, and that, you know, that, to an extent that, that works and it's good and a lot of people, you know, especially in like Eurorack world, you know, a lot of people take this approach, just like, ah, yes. oh, no, I'm gonna make a module that does this because I want a module that does this. Mm -hmm. um, and, but then also you know, I've developed all sorts of stuff over the years, like the flow machine and, and so on. And, that they, these kind of sprawling technological ideas. And there comes a point where it's just like, well, you know, I have to think a little bit outside what I want and myself and, and try and think, well, actually, how could my ideas be relevant to other people? So this is, this is why Project Rockpool is um, in this phase at the moment of just like, we're in discussion. We want to learn stuff. We want to, we just want to understand things and meet people because right. that is cool. Great. Like, yeah. So that's something then you're kind of welcoming to. Yeah. So so if you want, yeah, yeah, come come along, join join the join the conversation on the Facebook group, mm. um, Project Rockpool, yeah. um, and uh, there there are also there, there are some links there. I think from my uh, Facebook page, uh, which is Tim Exile Official. Cool. So, and yeah. is this going to be a software or hardware or both or who knows? I mean, we we we're keeping things uh, we're keeping things open at the moment. Okay. But I mean, we're, yeah, I mean, we're, we're building software right. at the moment. We're right, building right. software. Right. Yeah. But but the kind of idea and where it's going to go will be largely driven by the conversations and the research that happens through. Ex exactly. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we yeah we've so. we've got a bunch of ideas, but mm -hmm. we, we want to. We just want to do something cool, <laughs> basically. <laughs> oh, excellent. Yeah. Okay, well, so make yeah. sure, well, make sure you all check out. Yeah. Thanks, everyone, for watching. And thank you very much, Tim, for coming in and showing us these glorious things. And um, so remember to check out the shop at shop.timxile.com. Yeah. Where you'll find yeah. slew and slow and, 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 and other goodies. Things. And other goodies. Yeah, there's, there's some free ones the as free well. free ones, yeah. So the free yeah. ones, what we, what we got free, we got... Slow, the reverb for sloths, yep. and flows, the sort of rompler of stuff, that, of right. ja rompler of jams. Rompler of jams. <laughs> so um, thanks, everybody, for watching. And don't forget to subscribe to Sonic State if you haven't already. Bye for now.